On today's episode of Animal Diaries, we're going to be taking a look at what it's like caring for flying squirrels. Oh, then I uh, took the apple. Ah. Alright guys, today we're going to be checking out our flying squirrels. Now as you can see here, this is our flying squirrel enclosure. And uh, you might be wondering, who would build such a magnificent enclosure with incredibly not terrible woodwork? It was mine, and I need somebody to help me make enclosures in the future, because this is absolutely terrible. But, flying squirrels seem to love it, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, so here's the flying squirrel enclosure. It may seem pretty small to us, but when you've got an animal the size of a hamster, it's pretty nice size for them. So, normally Zippy hangs out in here, this is the food compartment. Oh, there's Zippy! Oh, yang. Good. Zippy's super friendly. Oh, he's chirping. He is a little flying squirrel. Oh, okay. You're going in my shirt. It's okay. Come here, you. Come here. Don't go in my shirt. Don't go in my shirt, buddy. So he's an adult male flying squirrel. This is about as big as these squirrels get. They've got a lot of fat rolls there. Okay. No, we can't film you with you're in my shirt. Hey, you. He's going in my pocket. He likes to hang out in my pocket. So look at that. Squirrel in my pocket. Come here, you. Oh, goodness. These are a nocturnal species. He's used to coming out during the day. This is when I kind of come out and give him a bunch of treats and stuff. But uh, as you can see, he just wants to go and hide. Because, uh, you know, that's actually one of the reasons we typically don't see flying squirrels out during the day. It's just because they like to hide during the day. So, beautiful little guy. This is the one male that we have in here. His name is Zippy. And he's got two girls in here. They're beautiful. Pachinki and Mama Squirrel. Those are our two females that live in here. Okay, go. Oh. No, you can't, okay, let me help you back in. Let me help you back in, okay. All right, well you're just gonna hang out my shirt then. Uh, we're gonna get to the next two, as you can see. And they don't like being messed with at all. They actually don't like me. So, uh, Zippy's actually one of the only really friendly ones out of the batch. Hello. The Mama Squirrel? But yeah, they're both sleeping in there right now, but beautiful little squirrels. They are so cute. We should be getting babies from one of them very, very soon. The babies are born super tiny, and they are absolutely adorable. Come here. No, not back in the pocket. Back in your house. The house is this way. I know, I know, the pocket is comfy. We gotta go look at the baby squirrels. We actually recently got two rescued southern flying squirrels. Unfortunately, they came from a downed tree, and uh, they had to be taken care of. They're super sweet. Let's go check them out right now. Hello, little buddies. Have a look at these. These are baby flying squirrels. Oh, darkness. Oh, darkness, what are you doing? And it is time to feed them. They're just taking basic kitten formula right now, but they're starting to eat solid food. You can sit up there while I feed you a little, your little sibling here. So, just kitten's formula. Oh, he's hungry. He's hungry. Look at how hungry he is. Now, these little squirrels, they are, as you can see, starting to climb, and they are starting to eat solid food. However, they are still very dependent. These guys couldn't be released, and they definitely couldn't go on their own right now, that's for sure. They would still very much so be relying on their mother in uh, natural circumstances. But as you can see, right now, they kind of just look like smaller adult flying squirrels. They're very little, but they'll only get about two to three times more this size. They're just not mobile enough just yet. Oh. Why are you biting me? Why are you biting me, little guy? But as you can see, pretty good climbers. You can already see their wings are kind of starting to develop. And as they grow, we're going to need to start uh, getting some flight practice, obviously. Very cute little guys. They got big heads. They're only a few weeks old, probably about a month, month and a half old total. All right, let's feed you brother. It's a brother and a sister. Little brother and a sister. Typically, the average... Uh, litter size for flying squirrels is anywhere to be between two and six, but on average, only two to four ever really survive. Oh goodness, this one's a real. Oh yes, look at how good he drinks. That's one of my favorite things whenever you're dealing with baby animals is when they actually drink. Cause uh, sometimes you get babies that don't drink, and it's very very difficult. Never had that problem with these guys. They always. Oh goodness, I'm not I'm not feeding them fast enough apparently. I'm getting it as as fast as it'll not drown you, buddy. 
You're wanting too much. He's lost in the sauce. Yeah, so these baby animals need constant care, and it's really unfortunate, but this does happen pretty much annually. Whenever squirrels have babies, it's going to be something that happens, whether they have them in a building where uh, they're going to cause issues, or whether they live in a tree, which is naturally where they live, of course, and it ends up getting knocked down, which is the case with these two squirrels. Yep, I think he's done. Oh, and your little sibling just wants to sleep. Your little sister just wants to sleep. So it's very good to take them outside, get lots of sunlight. It's very healthy for them, especially get all this climbing in. Look at that. <laughs> Two little flying squirrels. They got those big, big eyes. Very good claws already. They can already climb very well. Their tail is already ready to basically act like a rudder for when they start flying. So these guys are fully functioning flying squirrels. They just need a little bit more time, a little bit more growing, and they will be zipping all over the place. Very, very cute little squirrels. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And we almost never get to see them simply just because they're nocturnal. If these squirrels came out during the day like uh, you know, our regular gray and fox squirrels, then we'd be seeing them all the time. They're actually a relatively common species. However, we just don't see them. The most you'll normally see of these squirrels is just one zip across the road at night or zip around your house at night. That's about all you'll see. Beautiful little squirrels. So glad we're getting to show them to you. And uh, hopefully we'll have a really good update on these squirrels for you guys very soon. As you can see, of my three flying squirrels, Zippy is definitely the most sociable. It's mostly due to how he was raised, as well as having a naturally good disposition. The other squirrels can be let out of their enclosure from time to time, but Zippy is the only one I like to keep with me while I make my rounds with the other animals. He likes hiding in my pocket, and he'll kind of get out, climb around, and see the other outdoor setups. He's a really fun guy to have with me. Look at Momo, Zippy. Hey, Momo. Ah, Momo. Momo. Ah. <laughs> He's good. Back in your hands, bud. Alright guys, so now the flying squirrels are all awake. We got Zippy here. I brought some apple for him. Oh, you oh, took the apple. Ah. You want some? Everybody get some apple. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's okay. That's Pachinky. She's a little bit more shy, so she's not going to want to come near me. But the other two are going to be pretty food savvy, especially Zippy. Oh, Zippy. Zippy. More apple. Apple is one of their little favorite treats, very sugary. They love it. They're really funny. This uh, this cage gives them a lot to climb on. Oh, they don't like me moving around too much. Where'd Zippy go? Did Zippy leave me? Oh, Zippy, come here, bud. Yeah, that's my boy. You wanna come get the apple? Okay, you don't want apple. You just wanna climb. You just wanna play, okay. Well, let's not do that, buddy. So as you can see, this is really the best time to interact with flying squirrels, is at night. When they're gonna hop all over you, they're gonna want treats, they're gonna, they're gonna want snacks. Now you can already see kinda all the different dispositions. Zippy, super friendly, he's gonna be hanging out with me. He's gonna be wanting to jump on me, see? Just like that. He's gonna wanna be pet, he's gonna want scratches. And he's just gonna be all around very friendly. Mama squirrel, she's very aggressive for a flying squirrel. She's not gonna wanna want me to hold her at all. She just wants the food and she wants to be left alone. Pachinki is actually a very sweet squirrel, but she's also very shy. She's not going to want a, a lot of attention, a lot of noise, the light. So she's not going to be, I can definitely hold her and she definitely does well with me. It's just not in this setting is she going to be very outgoing. She's just a very shy animal. Zippy is the best one for educational stuff because he does good in pretty much any environment. See, as you can see, he's very relaxed. He's just got a very laid back personality, he's very chunky, he's very outgoing. Whereas the other two, a little bit more shy. Oh, goodness. And uh, as you can see, he's pretty energetic. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's my shirt. Oh, did he make a little noise? They make a little chirping sound. They do communicate with each other with a bunch of little noises, but the most common one is a little. Hey. You want to talk to me? They can, they can actually see very well in the dark. They don't need this light. The light is definitely more for us than it is for them because they can see perfectly well in the dark with those huge eyes. Now these squirrels, this is honestly not a lot of space for them. It's just enough to where they can kind of fly around a little bit, jump around and kind of enjoy themselves. But in the wild, 
these squirrels will be gliding hundreds of yards at a time. They'll be jumping across the trees and just gliding from one tree to the next. It's really insane. And uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to take them out and kind of do that a little bit more. But for the most part, they don't really do that. They just kind of hop from back and forth. How are you doing? Is that Zippy? No, Zippy's over here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, yep. Yeah. Zippy's the star. Zippy's the one who wants to be in front of the camera. He's all friendly. He's in my pocket again. Gosh darn it. Get out of my pocket, Zippy. Get it. Where are you going? He's on my shoulder. <laughs> well, these little guys are really funny. And it's a real pleasure to get to take care of them. And obviously, this is my favorite time to interact with them. Is at night when I can come out, feed them, and uh, at least get to hold Zippy because he's the friendly one, obviously. So, really glad we're getting to show you guys this. And this is my favorite time and way to interact with my flying squirrels. Can you say bye, Zippy? Bye. <laughs> bye.